everybody. I just wanted to jump on here and um, finally I have my review da, 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 of Reached. And as you can tell probably that it's dark so it's way later than I usually write reviews but I just finished it and I just could not wait to gush about it. So here I am. Um, and uh, I often say that Crossed is the biggest letdown book that I've read in the past five years. Um, but as much as that's true, I'm going to say that Reached is the biggest redemption book that I have read in the last five years. Um, before I get ahead of myself here, I'm going to read the flap to you. Oh, there it is. Um, all will be sorted. Cassia's journey will begin with uh, bleh, excuse me. Cassia's journey began with an error, a mo um, momentary glitch in the otherwise perfect facade of the society. After crossing canyons to break free, she waits, silk and paper smuggled against her skin, ready for the final chapter. The wait is over. One young woman has raged against those who threaten to keep away what matters most: family, love, and choice. Her quiet revolution is about to explode into a full-scale rebellion. With exquisite pr prose, the emotionally gripping conclusion of the internationally international best-selling match trilogy returns Cassia, Kai, and Xander to the society um, to save the one thing that they have been denied for so long, the power to choose. So that's it. Um, this is the third book in the match trilogy. Um, it was matched, crossed, and reached. Um, so yeah, that's it. So this is the final book. Um, very exciting. Um, I had gripes about Crossed, um, that I feel like Ali Condi came on YouTube and listened and took notes to everything that I said about Crossed because everything that I complained about before was like magically repaired in Reached. Not that I think that Ali Condi actually watched my channel, but the idea is pretty cool. If she did, I don't know. Um, but I just, I, you know, if she was here right now and I, and she was like, so Kelly, what do you think about Reached? I would shake her hand and say, thank you for answering everything that I wanted, you know, all, all of my complaints have withered away and I am so happy with this one. Um, a journey, um, reached was a journey, not in the same way that crossed was a journey. This was not a literal journey. This was a literary journey. This was a journey within the characters. They, evolved, they grew in so many ways that they were not just words on a page, they weren't just characters written by an author, they lived, they breathed, they were, they had blood flowing through their veins, like I adored these characters, I adored this journey, I, uh, I, I, my heart ached in beaded for every single person that was described in this book. Pilots. They blossomed. They, I don't even know how else to describe it. They were people. And that is not easy to write. Like, I mean, there were times that I was just like, come on, why are you thinking that? But that's life. You think things you shouldn't think, you know, you feel things you should not feel, and they did. The last hundred pages were like the peak for me. Like, I know that kind of sounds like a long time, considering it's like 512 pages, but like once I got there, I was just like crying, and oh my gosh, and I was just like, these are ideas and thoughts that I will carry with me like paper against my skin forever. Like, oh my gosh, it was just the ideas and the premise behind it. I was floored, floored. Um, I love this book in a completely different way than I loved Matched because the, um, 
it's just like a completely different book. The characters are completely different people. The surroundings are just completely different. And I love that because a, th a trilogy, you shouldn't be facing the same characters that you faced in book one, in book three. They should be completely different, and they were. And I thank you, Ali Condi, for this journey. It was incredible. And, you know, even though Crossed was, I will still say, the biggest letdown <laughs> ever, um, it was totally, all is forgiven. And I thank you, Ali Condi, for such a great series. It was awesome. And um, I actually... Um, wrote a poem that if you don't want to hear, then you can just shut it off. Um, but um, because of things that happen in the book, I felt drawn to write a poem. Like, this isn't like a fan fiction poem. This isn't like if I were Cassia or if I lived in their world, what I would write. This is just a poem that I wrote. And, um, if you've read Reached, maybe you appreciate why I feel the need to come on here and share it. Um, so here it is, and I'm really nervous because I never share my poetry. So uh, here it goes. Um, my mind whirls with many thoughts. They swirl around me. Living, breathing, longing. I live in every word. Those things are mine. They cannot take them. They cannot make them go. My words are my strength. Quiet, intangible, secrets to myself. Take my belongings, my life, my world, but you cannot have my dreams. You cannot have my thoughts. They are mine to keep. That's it. <laughs> um, I hope that wasn't too terrible, but yeah. Um, I also kind of, um, because of all the poetry that's in um, the match series, I wanted to find which well, I was kind of unsuccessful. I've been on and off looking for this poem for, like, ever since high school and the Transcendentalists, like, when I learned that in ninth grade. Uh, there was a poem that we read... Sorry, this video is crazy long. But there was a poem we read in class that always kind of stuck with me, and I've been trying to track it down ever since. And I think I actually found the book that it's from, but I can't get it in the store, so I'm going to have to order it and hope that that is the one that I wanted and if I do find it, um, I will, I don't know, post it in the comments because it's, I feel like the Transcendentalists are very similar to, like, Cassie is kind of people, how she rolls, and just that whole thing. Um, and if you don't know what the Transcendentalists are or Henry David Thoreau, then please Google it because, oh my god, that was like the peak of English class for me. Anyway, now this is getting into weird me personal stuff, so I'm going to let you go, and I love you all, and thank you for watching, thank you so much for watching, and um, let me know what you thought of the, to the whole match series, or just reached, or whatever, let me know, um, and I know I'm probably going to get totally um, harassed for calling her Cassia, because I guess it's supposed to be like Kasha or something, but when I read it, I read Cassia, sorry, that's just me. But, uh, thank you for watching, and I don't, I think I'm going to read Perks of Being Wallflower next, because I have it on my phone to read right now, so I'll probably do that. But, um, I love you all, thank you so much for watching, I know this video is so long, but I really appreciate your patience, and write in the comments below anything that you want to say, and I'll be happy to read them, and, uh, thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later, bye!